What's going on guys, EGSB here and today I wanted to make a video for all of the people who are now working from home due to the global pandemic. We all know the iPad is a great tool for being productive and getting things done. On that note, I thought I'd make a video talking about some of the best iPad apps that you can use to be more productive while working from home. Now before I get into the video, if you can look for that subscribe button, it should be somewhere on the screen and smash it for me. I really appreciate that. I do a lot of videos on tech, you know, phones, cameras, and more. So if you don't want to miss it, just make sure you're subscribed. Getting right into it. Number one, Google Keep. So Google Keep is a great app for taking notes. There are tons of note taking apps. Apple actually has a great notes app that I'm gonna talk about later. However, Google Keep is better. It syncs across all devices like an Apple Watch, an iPhone, and it's web accessible. And it helps me stay organized. I use it to log video ideas, store hashtags for Instagram, and in general, record notes. You have the ability to color code individual notes and search up for them afterwards. Google Keep has Google support and is a well-developed app. The next app that I want to talk about is called Fax. So how many of you need to use a stupid fax machine at work? Well, now you can kind of use it still. Fax is an app that allows you to, you guessed it, send faxes. All you have to do is input the number, scan the document, and hit send. It's free to download, but you do have to buy credits to be able to send faxes. For anyone who's still sending faxes because they are working from home, this app is for you. The next app that I want to talk about is Mind Nodes. Now Mind Nodes is free to download, but you need to purchase premium features. At its core, it's a great brainstorming app for any of you creatives that need to flesh out your idea. I use it sometimes for arranging my idea on video topics, or maybe you can use it to arrange what you're going to say during those Zoom meetings. On top of that, you have the option to print notes and share it as well. Unfortunately, you have to purchase the subscription if you want to do a bit more with the app, but I'd say it's worth it. On Android devices, you have the ability to see items that you've copied. However, on iOS, once you've copied another field of text, that actually just goes away. Copied alleviates that problem. It keeps copied text fields in an organized location that you can refer back to. It even lets you see the website that you copied it from. This is super handy if you're going to make multiple copies that you might need to refer to again in the future. You can even share the clipboard via AirDrop, open it in other apps, or even save it to Dropbox. For those of you at home that still needs to take notes during meetings, there's Notability. Notability is a pretty full-fledged app that allows you to take notes, but you can do a lot more than that, especially if you have an Apple Pencil. By the way, it works with the Apple Pencil. You can use the keyboard to type notes. You can use your finger or Apple Pencil to draw notes. You can erase and undo, copy a part of the screen, and you can also record audio. On top of all of this, you have the customization options like changing the color of the background, adding texture, and changing your view. And of course, you can print it and share it to other apps. Notability is not free. I'll have the price on the screen. But again, it's worth it. Now, six is more of an honorable mention. Apple Notes is a great app and I actually won't spend time getting into it because it's pretty bare bones and pretty much it's on every single Apple device. However, I did want to highlight something a lot of people don't know about. You can scan documents. So if you're not in the office but need to scan something, use the scanner. It works pretty well. The quality is pretty good. You can't really tell the difference. And guess what? There's no watermark. That is it guys. Those are some of my favorite apps for working from home. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions on other productivity apps, just drop the names down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and like the video if you can. I'll see you in the next one guys. Stay safe, wash your hands, peace.